Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuestor.com. Today we'll be creating multiple site collections in SharePoint 2010 using Windows PowerShell. The process is fairly simple. We just need to launch SharePoint 2010 Management Shell and then type a specific script. I'll show you the script. You can copy it and create as many site collections as you like. Every site collection will get a separate database uh, behind the scenes. So here's the script to start off with. I will be creating a couple of uh, site collections. Let's just change the names here. So I will be creating site collection one and then site collection two. The databases will be a reflection of these names as well. Uh, for each URL in this array we are going to create a content database this content database is going to have the naming convention WSS content intranet and the URL the web application you need to specify the web application where these site collections are going to be created in my case is SharePoint 2010 and then the second command here is uh, creating a new site uh, the URL for it will be the web application slash site slash that specific URL that we're passing and then the content database again will will have will be a reflection of the name of uh, of the URL itself. Uh, the owner alias make sure you specify your account in here. And then this is the owner of the site collection. And then the template that we're going to be using to provision the site collection with. So I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to start management shell. I'm going to run it as administrator in here. And then I'm going to paste this information in here two enters enter enter one to create a line and then to execute this script and we're just gonna wait for the script to uh, provision and then we'll switch over to SQL Server take a look at the databases we'll come back to uh, SharePoint and take a look at the newly provisioned site collections Okay, as you can see, we've got a new site collection. Uh, here's a database behind the scenes. It's site collection one, and it is on uh, SharePoint 80. This is the SQL Server uh, host. We'll just wait for the rest of this to complete. Okay, and this is this is now done. You could go through and and read uh, what was provisioned. Make sure you see no errors. Again, the main thing here is this script, and the script will be available uh, under the blog post itself. Let's switch over to SQL Server. Let's refresh the databases. And we should see now under WSS content that we have Site Collection 1 and Site Collection 2. These have been provisioned. And then if we launch SharePoint and go to site collection one we should see a site collection one and then also site collection two and these have been created just right now this concludes this video thanks for listening in and until next time